former chair of the DNC in Washington, D.C. You're shaking my head, your head at me already. Jim, what a lead-in. <laughs> You're comparing Barack Obama to, to, to Joe Biden. It's so unfair. But, but, whoa, whoa, but it's whoa, your whoa, show, whoa, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they both ran for George Washington's job. They both asked to be president. How is it unfair to compare them? They're about 20 or 30 years apart. They have different leadership styles. And obviously, their speaking ability and their energy uh, and their compelling messages are just delivered very differently. The message that, that would is be the an same, understatement. but the messenger is very different. Yeah, that, that, that might, be, might be an understatement. This is what I can't get <laughs> over, though, is President Obama's ability to, to make an argument and to ridicule, which really what he, what he has done through Georgia and in Michigan and in Arizona and in, and in Wisconsin very effectively. Dare I say it is some of the rhetorical uh, flair and techniques of another guy who is a very effective campaigner, and that would be Donald Trump. It works. Yeah, but I wouldn't compare uh, Obama to Trump. I'm not comparing it to the people. I'm comparing just the technique here, and it's something that President, President Biden just can't do. Yeah, but 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 Trump is is mean spirited, if you will, and quite negative and dismissive in his presentation. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, hold, hold on. on. President hold, President hold, Obama called him a wacky lab Republican. I mean, th that's pretty and, mean. And the crowd laughed. And the way Obama delivered it, it did make him. He hit his point yeah. that, that that Trump is a wacky guy, and some of these candidates are wacky MAGA yeah, supporters. Black, but, but uh, humor. Black masters. Go ahead. Yeah, humor cuts away from meanness, if you will, or mean-spiritedness, especially whether I'm in court making a presentation to a jury or a judge and the government's on the other side or politicians are making their point. It's a universal language of presentation uh, to cut into your harder points with humor as to take the edge off so you don't offend or you don't make others upset because there may be some supporters of the opponents in that audience. Who knows? But humor is a very effective presentation yeah, no, on the campaign trail. It's extraordinarily effective. It's something that President Biden admittedly lacks. But I, I'm interested in your thoughts on the speech last night. Threats to democracy. Three in ten registered voters said threats to democracy was among the two most important issues facing the country. Not a high number. That included 41% of Democrats, 20% of Independents, 23% of Republicans. So if you think about closing arguments, you're making an argument, uh, if you believe that independent voters are where it's at, to 23% of 30% uh, of the electorate. That is an awfully small margin. And I think what, I, what I'm wondering is, to be fair to President Biden, that if threats to democracy doesn't work as an argument and Republicans end up winning the House, which they pretty are likely to do, possibly the Senate, um, does, does sort of the whole presentation and strategy of the Democratic Party become indicted over the past uh, nine months, the January 6th committee, the media that covered it, and President Biden, who believes that's the closing argument? Well... President Biden believes democracy is the number one issue to him and to the country because the economy won't matter if we lose our democracy and we fall into anarchy. That's, that's his view of the world. He had two choices here. Do you talk about the economy that isn't that great and he gets blamed for because he's the president? Or do you talk about the democracy as being a very important issue because you've got a lot of MAGA and big lie supporters on these ballots around the country in these midterms? He chose the latter, if you will. Now, his message on the economy, he's talked about that on an ongoing basis. But again, you have to touch voters where their heart is, if you will. You got to connect with them, right? Everybody presumes democracy is going to take, is taking a hit, but we're fighting for democracy because we've had it for over 200 plus years. But in regard to the economy, I would have liked to have seen Biden say, listen, this is, we're in this fight together. This is how we're going to fight yeah. together. This is how we're going to win together. And winning is the most important thing. Stick with the Democrats because we got a plan and the GOP is the party of no and they got us in this position. Or yeah, words you know, look, it's, a, it's a very, that, that's the Bill Clinton model, right? That's the I feel your yes, pain. Yes, exactly. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider.
And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.